how to create a landing page for e-commerce website. Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a landing page for your e-commerce website using system.io. A landing page is a crucial component of any successful e-commerce business as it can help increase conversions and sales. With system.io, you can create professional and high converting landing pages that are tailored to your business needs. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a landing page for your e-commerce website using system.io. We'll cover everything from choosing a template to customizing your page and integrating it with your website. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a fully functional and visually stunning landing page that will help drive sales and grow your business. System.io is an all-in-one platform for building and growing your online businesses. It offers a range of features including landing page creation, email marketing, sales funnel creation, and much more. Created with the needs of e-commerce entrepreneurs in mind, System.io makes it easy to create high-converting landing pages without any coding or design skills. Now to get started, the first thing you're going to do is go to System.io. Now over here, we are currently on the home page of System.io where we can see many information about this website. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to enter your email address over here and then click on get my free account. Now this will allow your email address to be registered and after doing that, you will receive an email verification for your account. After doing that, you can simply sign it into your system.io account. After signing in, you would be redirected to this dashboard over here. As you can see here on the top, we have a lot of options that we can choose from. We have the dashboard over here where we can check out the affiliate dashboard, marketplace, contacts, funnels, emails like newsletters, campaigns, and statistics, blogs, automations, and products and sales. As you can see, this is not just for creating a website. We can also use this for many things as well, like the emails and automations. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on blogs over here. And this will redirect us to this page. We're simply going to click on create over here on the right side. And over here, this is where we will start creating our website. On the name section over here, this is where we will name our website name. For example, right now we're going to add e-commerce. Just like that. And we can change our domain name over here. You could add your custom domains if you have your own domain. And this is where we will be able to edit our URL path. We can simply try and copy our name over here, just like that. And below here, this is where we will be able to select our different templates. It's a bit difficult to see each individual templates because of the size. But what we can do to preview each templates with ease is we can hover over the specific template that we'd like. And we could click on preview template over here. And this will redirect us to a preview of the template that we have selected earlier. As you can see, this is the sample template that we have. We could choose another template, for example, this one. We could click on preview template and it will do the same and redirect us to that specific page. Now, we're not going to need a complicated template because we're just going to make a simple landing page for our e-commerce. For example, this one, we're going to select this. And just like that, our template is currently selected. After doing that, you can simply click on save. And stop. Unfortunately, our URL path is unaccepted. We can simply delete that and just click on save. It will automatically create a URL path for us. And just like that, we have a blog added into our page over here. Now, as you can see, our name is e-commerce. The home URL page is just Bustria system.io you can also see when it was created and when you click on these three dots over here you could either view your blog or website duplicate this share see its settings which is the same thing from earlier we could change our language name and domain and you can also remove this now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our website name and this will redirect us into this page over here where we can control the different posts, pages, and categories of this specific blog. You can also edit your pages over here. You can add more pages by clicking on this create 
section over here, you would be able to add a page name and then a URL path. You can also check out the categories over here. You could change your different categories. But for the meantime, we're going to click on blog layouts over here. Now under the blog layouts, this is where you will be able to edit and add different elements and blocks into your blog website. As you can see right now, this is our somehow like a home screen of our current blog right now. You could remove any section that you want to remove over here by hovering over. We could see the different boxes that you are seeing. These are the different components of your website blog. For example, this row section over here of subscribe now. You can simply click on either settings, duplicate, save, or delete option over here. We're going to click on delete, and that will completely remove that section over here. We could click this once again to make our page cleaner, just like that. We could also remove this entire footer if you want to remove it. Now, over here on the left side, you can see that we could add text elements, column layouts, blog elements, form elements, media elements, social, and other elements over here. There's also blocks option over here where we can add opt-in forms, features, page footers, theme presentations, welcome, price plans, page headers, and testimonials. Uh, for our landing page, we're going to add maybe a testimonial over here. And we could add maybe this one. As you can see, this will add a testimonial section for our page. It's on the wrong section, so we can simply drag our entire section and then we could put it on top. And just like that, we're going to do it once again. We're going to put it on our blog content just like that. And in this section, you can put in trusted reviews for your e-commerce website. You can add people who have bought from your e-commerce to ensure that anyone who arrives on your landing page so that they would know that people have tried and tested and bought from your e-commerce website. You could add their name over here, then their specific reviews and maybe add a star or two over here of their specific review you could edit this components every single part for example this image over here you don't like this you can simply click on this and then click on delete over here on the left side and you would be able to remove that specific section and you could also edit this part by double clicking it and then you could type in any message that you want and you could also do the same thing over here below and maybe you could change this to they trusted us and we want you to trust us also just like that and you can edit specific blocks by hovering over them for example you could change the image change the text text once again then change this specific text you could also edit the specific block that it is standing on right now you could change the background color over here just like that you could change it to whatever you want You can also add paddings if you want, the shadows, borders, rounded color, corners, and many more options that you could use. Now we could add another part for our page. For example, we could add a form input over here. This is where you will be able to ask your viewers about information about themselves. For example, over here on the left side, you can see that we can edit our form input. We could click on the input type. And we would have multiple settings over here like city, company name, country, email, first name, and many more. For now, we're going to go with email. And we could duplicate this by hovering over here. Click on duplicate. And then we could change the settings for this one. For example, first name, just like that. And after doing that, we could either go and add another button over here. Right now, the action when button is clicked is send form, show pop-up, open URL blog link download file you could choose any of this option maybe let's settle with send form for now we could also enable the custom url where it will redirect your users after the contact registration right now we're simply going to go with no direction you could also edit the alignments over here change the button width and many more options over here but if you don't want to add this section over here directly to your page we could simply click this once again and we're going to delete that part and we could actually go over here on the top left and click on pop-ups and click on add pop-ups and this will allow you to have a pop-up which will get emails from those who open your website you could do the same thing like edit your button over here you could change different 
information over here you could change the text by clicking on this typography settings over here now you could edit your landing page any way that you want you could also add another button over here just like we did earlier and you could have this as a custom url for example open url option over here and then you can type in your e-commerce website link over here and whenever someone clicks this button over here this will redirect them directly to your e-commerce website and after doing this and editing your contents for your website your landing page and you can simply click on save changes over here and we're going to wait for it to save our progress and after doing that you can simply preview over here and we would be able to see a preview of our current page and as you can see we have our pop-up over here to enter our email then click on the button over here and the pop-up would disappear you can also see the reviews that we are talking about earlier then you could click over here and this will redirect us to our Shopify store or any e-commerce website that you have and and after doing that you can simply exit your editor and your blog or your website is automatically created you don't need to do it manually it is automatically published and functioning and that's it guys that's how you can create a landing page for your e-commerce website and that's how you can integrate it together and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching